guess if you just put in plants, not, not so bad. Get a little sunshine out there. It was a great day today. It was a good day for a party, which we had here at News Channel 5 today. How awesome was that? Indeed, yeah, lots of announcements. It was nice to be out. We, we had a lot of announcements. We had, uh, we had some food going on. We had ice cream. We should do this every day. I'm all for it. <laughs> you know, I was just thinking about that. It was that much fun. Hey, I want to take you outside. There are some areas where it is just beautiful right now. This is a webcam in Jericho, right there in Nashville. And boy, it's beautiful. I mean, uh, you know, a couple of clouds, maybe, if you look very carefully, but for the most part, not a whole heck of a lot going on at all. And temperatures popped very nicely today. Made it up to 83 in Burlington, 79 degrees Plattsburgh, doing a 79 right now in Montreal, 78 degrees at Saranac Lake, some 80s as you head on down to the South Lake in Lebanon, and also in Springfield, where right now it is straight up 80 degrees. Temperatures fairly uniform as we widen out a little bit from Montreal, 79. Right on over to Pittsburgh, 80, a little bit warmer than that in Charleston, 85 degrees. And a little bit cooler, though, as you head on over toward Boston, I'd imagine an onshore breeze right now, we're at 71 degrees. This is a look at Storm Tracker 5000. You know, with this computer, we're able to take a look at the clouds, take a look at the precipitation, kind of put them together. So what you're seeing here is just a few clouds around, a little bit of precip, just getting onto uh, parts of your picture right here, but you widen out a little bit. And we've got some action, some showers, even some thunderstorms. Just getting into St. Lawrence County now, this stuff is coming to the north and also off to the east. So you guys in St. Lawrence County who are not seeing any rain yet, that's going to change for you up toward Canton, Potsdam, and Messina, Aquasasne eventually. And look how much rain we're talking about. This is quite a swath coming down from Ontario over Lake Ontario and into central New York, into Syracuse. All this stuff will continue to come our way. And we've got this upper level low pressure system right here. That will continue to affect us. At the surface, the low is going to make its way toward us. We've got a couple of them. And also, we've got high pressure that has been taking care of us. But bang, it's finally going to get the boot here. This stuff's going to win out. And that's why we're going to find increasing clouds out there tonight and a pretty good shot for rain showers later tonight, especially in northern New York, but maybe even getting into the Champlain Valley. Tomorrow looks like one of those days where it's not going to be raining all the time at all, but a lot of clouds around and certainly from time to time we will find some rain. This is Futurecast. Let's break down what's going to happen. 7.15 tonight, best chances for any rain still over toward the St. Lawrence Valley. We'll bump this up through the overnight and into drive time tomorrow morning. Now note how the clouds have thickened up here. We've got the chance for some rain showers around. We're going to keep that in the forecast. Scattered showers. Best chances in northern New York by tomorrow morning. We take you through the day, and really the best chances for rain will continue to be in northern New York, but certainly the chance for showers as we do get into Vermont as well. We get you to tomorrow night. We've got the chance for rain showers, and it's really more the same on Friday. I think it's a mostly cloudy day, sneaking in a little bit of sunshine from time to time, and the chance for an isolated shower or two. So all in all, I think a little more rain around on Thursday as compared to Friday. All right, increasing clouds. The clouds coming in from the west, and look for rain showers, especially late tonight in the Champlain Valley, before that northern New York in particular in the St. Lawrence Valley. Here's the breakdown for tomorrow. It is going to be cooler than today, thinking 75 in Burlington. Cloudy, scattered showers there, along with Plattsburgh, where it's going to be 62. Probably won't get out of the 60s uh, in Saranac Lake. Now, that Plattsburgh, 72, not 62, compares well with, say, Newport at 75, 71 in Montpelier, 71 degrees in Rutland. Okay, five-day forecast goes like this. Scattered showers, 75 tomorrow, and still the chance for some isolated showers on your Friday, 78. But after that, things are looking pretty good. Now, the odd shower can't be ruled out over the weekend, but certainly the majority of the weekend is looking real good. 77 degrees Saturday, 78 on Sunday. Mix of sun and clouds Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, 79 to 80 on Tuesday. Wednesday, Dave, the high is going to be 81. 